Hey there guys, and welcome to this set of AS Level Mass Statistics past paper exam questions on hypothesis tests. If you haven't yet been through my set on binomial distribution, then I highly recommend doing those first, because that is a skill that we need to do these. We'll put a link to that set down below in the description. Now also, because these questions are big and take a lot of time, I'm doing one question per video. To make things as easy as possible for you, at the start of a new question, I'll put a QR code, which are the black and white squares, which you can scan with your phone and get taken directly to that question's solution. Alright, let's go. Now, make sure you download the questions from the description down below because I've also made you a hypothesis test checklist to make sure you do everything you need to get all the marks. So, again, that's available down below. Okay then, first up, Martin grows cucumber plants from seed. In the past, he has found that 70% of all seeds successfully germinate and grow into cucumber plants. He decides to try out a new brand of seed. The, the producer of this brand of seed claims their seeds are more likely to germinate than other seeds. Martin sows 20 of this seed and 18 Germinate. Carry out a hypothesis test at 5% level of significance to investigate the producer's claim. Alright, okay then, so it's 7 marks and we want them all. So the first thing to do would be to define a variable. So here we are interested in seeds that successfully so the first thing we would say is let x, or any letter, be the number of seeds that successfully germinate. So then the next thing we need are the null and alternate hypotheses. So H0, the null hypothesis, is always the one where the probability doesn't change. So in the past, he noticed that 70% of seeds germinate. So our probability is 0 0.7. Now the producer of this new brand are claiming more of their seeds germinate than other brands. So our test is that the probability is greater than 0 0.7. Okay, now next we state the distribution of x under h0. So, under h0, x follows a binomial distribution now he's planted 20 seeds and our probability is 0 0.7 Okay, so that's everything set up. Now we do the test. So what we want to know is under the null hypothesis was it more or less likely than 5% that 18 or more 
seeds would germinate. So we want the probability that x is greater than or equal to 18. Now that is 1 minus the probability x was less than or equal to 17. Okay, now that is going to give us one minus uh, zero point nine six five, uh, which is zero point zero three five. Uh, which is 3.5 per cent. Now, 3.5 per cent is less than 5 per cent. So, we have found under the null hypothesis with p being 0 0.7 it was less than 5% likely that 18 or more seeds would germinate out of the 20 that Martin planted. So that tells us to accept H1. Okay, then to finish off, we just need to write a concluding statement, so something along the lines of There is significant evidence to support the claim. Boom. Okay then guys, that's that one done. On to question two, hope to see you there.